Celebrating African American freedom and education, this year's Juneteenth festivities are going virtual. Yes. And here with details, we've got Dr. Danielle Williams. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Danielle. Hello, how are you? We are good. good. Now, for good. people who may not know, talk about the significance of Juneteenth. Well, Juneteenth is uh, a time for us to commemorate um, African American emancipation. Uh, it is Freedom Day. It, it, it celebrates how we have, as a African American community, um, show our freedom. It encourages our self development. And it also gives opportunities for individuals to learn about African American culture and history. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this year, especially with everything going on in our country, it seems like Juneteenth is taking on uh, a brand new meaning, new meaning. for a yes. lot of people, uh, Danielle. So having this event, how long has the community been hosting a Juneteenth event? I'm sorry, Jackie, I apologize. Can you ask that question again? How, I think because of the- How many years I has apologize. the community been hosting the Juneteenth event? Um, I want to make sure, I'm sorry, I apologize. Could you <laughs> say that one more time? Sure, sure. How many years has the Juneteenth event been going on? Oh, I've, okay. So 20, it's actually been 27 years okay. it's been going on on our, on our campus. So normally I know if we were all meeting together, uh, Juneteenth planning starts very early. Talk about the process it takes to pull off um, a Juneteenth celebration under normal, normal circumstances. Oh, wow, yes. Um, we try to start meeting at least um, nine months ahead to start thinking about programming and how we want to um, facilitate just what we want to see for that, um, that respective year. So it, it, we want to make sure we're trying to grow uh, the event. So we try to make sure that we are reaching out to various organizations and companies and uh, other affiliate groups to see how they want to engage with us because we know it does take a community to put this on. Um, and we want to make sure that it is a, a value to our community and that everyone knows and understands the significance. So it's important for us to start that process uh, pretty early so we can, of course, be organized mm -hmm. and put the information out uh, and disseminate it so everyone will have a certain level of awareness. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, now, what can people expect from this year? It is going virtual, but that doesn't mean that it's still not going to be uh, as fun. Of course, we all love getting together. That's right. So talk about what the committee has planned for the virtual event. Well, this year, as you said, it's, it's a little different, but uh, we're going to try to make sure that we're keeping everybody engaged. Uh, because we know with virtual events, that's, it's easy to not be engaged. So um, we're happy to say that DJ Derek, and DJ Derek is known throughout uh, our community, he's going to be bringing the music, and uh, actually his team is doing the virtual production. So we do appreciate him um, so much and his team for doing that. Uh, Ms. Renetta Francis, she's going to be talking about voting and the political climate. Uh, in the African-American community. We're gonna have two physicians, uh, Dr. Greta Jean and Rex Port, talk about healthy living in the African-American community. And we're happy to say that our chancellor, uh, Dr. Steinmetz, Joseph Steinmetz, and Dr. Yvette murphy Irby, our vice chancellor for uh, diversity and inclusion, will be bringing a welcome. And I, I feel like we have a treat uh, because again, it's about history, significance, mm -hmm. and understanding the African-American community, Dr. Charles Robinson, who is our incoming, our, our current provost and vice chancellor for student affairs. And he's also a professor of history. Mm -hmm. He's going to talk about the history and the significance of Juneteenth. And he is an awesome speaker. So I'm even excited to hear that. Mm -hmm. And um, it, what makes this a little different? Because like I said, we always reach out to constituent groups and community groups. Uh, we've asked some organizations that are uh, significant in the African-American community to provide some some statements and videos of support and about why Juneteenth is important. So we'll be showing some of that. And then also to continue to keep the uh, audience engaged, um, we are going to have some Juneteenth trivia. So we're going to have that just sporadically throughout the event. 
and give individuals the opportunity to um, win gift cards if they get mm -hmm. the answers correct. So we want to make sure that people know and understand that they can also win something because when they attend Juneteenth, usually there's a lot of giveaways and we have vendors and we're not going to be able to do that. Right. But at least we'll have something uh, to allow individuals to um, walk away with something that may be of um, in value to them. So we're excited about that. Yes, yes a lot awesome. happening yeah. uh, for you guys at home. We've got some information for you on when and where the event is happening. It's on Friday and again, it is virtual. That's right. And so we'll have information on where you can join that virtual event for the annual Juneteenth celebration. Dr. Williams, thank you so thank much. You. We appreciate you. Yes. Stay with us. We've got more Good Day in WA coming up right after this.